The last one for this particular file is naming a dimension and setting the value in a single operation. So every dimension you create, let, let me bring those two back. Every dimension you create becomes a parameter. And of course you can go into the parameter manager and you can rename these dimensions, no problem there. If you get a lot of dimensions in there, it can be a little bit confusing. So one thing you can do is name as you go or even after the fact. So I'm gonna create a dimension on this vertical line. And when it comes up to edit the dimension, I'm going to type in a name and I'm not going to use spaces. I have to use underscores because you cannot have spaces in the parameter name. So I'll just call this um, profile height and I'll say equals and I'll type in what value I want it to be. We'll say 5.25. I'll press enter and of course the dimension changes to the height that I specified. I'm going to keep doing this on that particular line segment. Same thing here. I'll say, uh, call this, I don't know, what are we gonna call this? Smaller profile height equals, and we'll say three and a half. If I go check out the parameter manager, what you'll notice is those parameters have already been named and their value has been specified. The key takeaway there is you have to type out the name. Again, it cannot con contain spaces and you have to use the equal sign because you're defining here's my name and here's what that value equals.